Okay, this section is, well, this whole chapter, chapter eight is gonna be integration. So all of the more complex techniques to integration. But first, they're gonna recall you back just to the basic integration rules. Most times is use substitution um, or some algebra manipulation or a combination of both. So, and then just using the power rules and the trig rules and things like that, okay? So for this particular problem, um, I know that when I take the derivative of the square root of x, I get one over the square root of x. So I have a feeling that I could do this problem with u substitution. So if I let u equal three minus two square root of x, or three minus two x to the one half, du would be zero, and then one half of two is just one, and then a negative one half when I decrease the power by um, one. So negative one over the square root of x dx. Now, it depends on how you do use substitution. I usually like to make this look like what I've got. So I already know that this is going to be u. I want to have this here on the right hand side so that I can know what to substitute for it, okay? So I know I'm gonna have one over u, but what do I substitute for the nine over square root of x dx? Well, what I could do is multiply both sides of this equation by negative nine, and then I get what I'm trying to substitute for. So all of these things here are going to become negative nine du. Now the negative nine can be taken outside of the integration and I end up with one over u du, which is actually the ln of the absolute value of u, plus c of course. Now remember to state that this is side work so that we know it's helping you to solve this problem, but it isn't part of the actual statements. And you do have to say that this line is equivalent to that one so we understand the relevance of what that line is doing there. Now, I do need a back sub. So u was three minus two square root of x. And since this quantity is not always positive, we do need to keep those absolute value bars there. Now for our second example, um, u sub doesn't really help here because the derivative of x is one, but then that doesn't help me with the x squared. Normally when you have functions where the degree is higher in the numerator, you have to perform long division to continue the problem out. So x times x is x squared, x times negative two is negative two x. And then if I subtract, this will turn to positive. Those cancel, I will get two x. Um, x times positive two is two x. So two x, two times negative two is negative four. If I change the signs, those will cancel and I'll get four. So this will be converted into the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. So x plus two plus my remainder over my divisor. So then now I can use u sub for the this part, u equals x minus two, du would just be dx. And if I substitute, I can take the four out and I have one over u du. So this becomes x squared over two plus two x plus four, ln of the absolute value of u plus c. Then back sub, so u was x minus two, which is again, not always positive, so you do need to keep the absolute value bar in your final answer.